What's up, Soup fans? Today, we have something special for you guys, but first we wanted to taste the um, fermented veggies because we never tasted them. We never tasted it in front of you guys, so let's... <laughs> This one we already ate some, so... It's a taste test before we... <laughs> it, that, that doesn't... Okay. doesn't smell too good. But don't let the smell um make this, you not want to eat it, because um, it's good. It's really, it's you really can good. eat it in the morning with your get, eggs. Get, get a big bite, get a big bite. That's good. Don't eat too much of it. It'll give you a rumbly tumbly. And you, you don't want that. That's, that's just that's nasty. As we're saying, um, we are we were going to show you guys what we're we'll going doing today. See this? This is coconut. This is a machete. We're gonna be busting the coconut and making like fried coconut shavings, I guess, and they're going to be good. Really good. So, we'll start busting this thing. Okay. Okay, we're outside now, so we'll start busting this coconut. And make sure you, you don't want to hit it too hard or too much in the same spot because then you might bust the inside and all your milk might come out, you know? Oh, yeah. Coconut milk though, it's so good and refreshing. Taste test the uh, the coconut. Gotta, I gotta try this coconut. It's my taste test there. You gotta make sure you get all the shell off this thing. Don't, no, you're cutting towards yourself, man. You can cut yourself. Wow. You may want to wear protective goggles on this. Maybe you could just pry it out of the shell. Like that. Coconut is so good. And then let it sit like overnight so it can dry out some. So we'll see you at the next step. Okay guys, so we're going to be peeling it, you know, into like little shreds. You leave the dark skin on, it'll hold the little shreds together. So what you want to do is put your thumb on it, on the coconut, get your peeler and just peel along with it and make sure you kind of have it as a slant and get lots of the skin with it when you do it. But you know, this would just take too long, so let's just do some magic and get this, get this all done. Yep. So, let's put this here. It's a magic bowl. Yeah, this, this is the magic bowl. Okay, ready? Okay. Ready? Three, two, two one. one. Let's see. There we are. Look at that. Look at, Look at those shreds. The little coconut shreds. Wow. Man, it did a good job. Look at beautiful thin strips. Okay, so you want to spread these around. Probably pretty thin. While they're still a little bit wet, um, before they end up drying out, you want to pour some sea salt. Put a little bit of sea salt on it. We have, right here, we have sea salt. With chili peppers. See, look at all those chili peppers. And they're crystals. They're full crystals. So, so let's um, salt crystals, not real crystals, because otherwise you'd be really rich. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I actually don't know how much to put on. Oh, I can see the little flakes of um, chili peppers. So what you're going to do is you're going to put the toaster oven on about 50 degrees celsius and set the timer for two hours hey peeps let's see what how it's looking look at those it's a little warm 
Look at this beauty. Look at these. Look at these. So, um... Wait, wait, let me try it. Mm. So you want to leave it in. You want to, after you shredded them and everything, and put your salt on, then you want to, um... Let them dry do? out for overnight. Um, and then put them in a toast oven at 60 degrees Celsius. If you don't know what that is, then just look it up because I don't have a calculator with me right now. So, we'll see you in the next video.